Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, expanding quadratics. So let's get started. All right, so we want to expand this. Now, there is literally so many ways, so many ways you can actually do this in. A lot of people do their own things, but um, what I'm going to try and show you guys is um, show you guys at least um, three ways of doing this. You know, pick whichever one is easy for you and then go with it. All right, so the first method I'm going to show you guys is um, kind of splitting them up. Now, let's try this. I really need more space. Hang on. So the first one, what you can do is, is you can write it up like, because you have x plus 2 times x plus 3, you can split them up. So you can actually say x multiplied by x plus 3 plus 2 times x plus 3. All I've done is I've dropped this x there and I've dropped the 2 there. All right, and I've written x plus 3 on both sides. So, which means um, I could actually start. I could actually start expanding this. So, I've got x times x, which is x squared, and then I've got x times 3x is plus 3x. Then I have 2 times x, which is going to be plus 2x, and of course I also have 2 times 3 which is plus 6. So combining this together, my like terms, I only have two like terms here, you know, those are my two like terms. So putting this together, I'm going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6. All right, so that's the first method. The second method, which is, um, some call it the, the FOIL method, all right, which is basically... Um, FOIL, uh, let me put it this way, FOIL it works like this. So the F stands for the first two terms. Then you have O, which is the outside, which are these two ones here. Then you have I, which is the insides, just these two things there, and then L, which is the last two, FOIL. So what it actually means is if you look at the F, I'm actually multiplying X and X, so I've got X squared. Then if you, for the O, follow the blue one, X times 3 is 3X. Three and then the insides, which is the green, 2 times x is 2x. The last, which is the kind of goldish color, 2 times 3 is 6. So if I was to write this up, I've got x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Simplifying this, because I noticed that 3x and 2x are the same, but with the same like terms, so that would be x squared plus 5x plus 6. That's the FOIL method. Then there's a third one. Now with the third one, um, you know, some people like to do this, where they actually create a little, that's a terrible grid, where they create a grid like this, all right? And they put one of the variables on this side, so x plus 2, they write it like this, x and plus 2, and then here they write it the other um the other bracket, which is x and positive 3. So what they do is um, they multiply each of them. So for example, um, this box here, they're going to get x times x. So x times x is x squared. Then they have x times 3, which is 3x. Then they have 2 times x, which is 2x. And finally, 2 times 3, which is 6. And then add all the four things together. So you've got x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Again, as you can see, like terms, which is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. 
Now, there is one other method that some people use, and um, you know that once you start doing enough of these, you start picking up the pattern. And the pattern that most people, well, some people do see is that you, your middle term or the term with the coefficient of x is the sum of these two numbers. So if you notice that, 3 plus 2, <clears throat> let me put it this way, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is what the expansion is going to look like. Can you see the pattern? 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 3 times 2 is 6. That's just a real quick way of doing it. And if you're really good with your integers, you can just do that straight away. You don't need to do any of these long method, winded method. So I'm going to show you one more example. All right. All right, guys, with this one, I'm just going to do the answer straight away. So I know that when I expand a quadratic, I'm going to have a squared, a, and a number. So the first thing I'm going to be looking at is negative 2 and positive 3. So that's plus 1. And of course, negative 2 times positive 3 is going to be negative 6. So the answer I'm looking for in this case is going to be a squared plus a minus 6. Now, I am going to do this the long-winded long way to show you guys that the answers are the same. So if I do a times a, that's going to be a squared. And then a times 3 is 3a. And then I've got negative 2 times a, which is negative 2a. And finally, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And what you'll notice is I've got two like terms, which are the middle ones. And I've got a squared. 3a minus 2a is 1a and minus 6 by itself. And as you can see, both of the answers are the same. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching.